Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're welding hooks on the bucket of my tractor. I've got my Uncle Mike with me. I'm telling you, this guy, he can weld anything from the crack of dawn to a broken heart. He's good. And I got a little bonus clip in there about some accessories I got for my three-point I wanted to show y'all. So stick around and check that out. And again, let's go weld. The stick welder we're using, just the, Link, the Lincoln Electric uh, 125 there. And so what we'll do, I personally like to take the bucket off the tractor, so I've already done that. And we'll uh, reinforce the, the bucket with some, some metal and then get, it, get to lay into it. So what we're going to do is the hooks we have, the hooks we have, I'm going to put them that, like contour with the, the bucket here. And I'm going to keep these holes in case I need to put something in there at one point or whatever. But so, but we're gonna grind. We're gonna take a grinder, and we're just gonna grind a little bit off here to kind of help it, help the hook lay, lay a little more flat on the bucket itself. And I'll put the hooks, I'll put the hooks about about right here or so, so that's in line with the, so it's in line with the, the um, arm of the tractor front end loader. And that will help us with some stability as well. About to get to it. Today I've got my, my Uncle Mike with me. And so uh, he's such a stud. And he's the, he's the one. If he can see it in his mind, he can build it, bend it, break it, whatever the case may be. If you notice, we don't have a vise out here, so we just seat clamped it to the side of the bucket. When you're hobby farming, you make what you make do with what you got. All right, so we're done with the welding part, and uh, you can see going all the way around. Got that there, and then the weld on this side. So this will help me put my chains on. I'll put the bucket back on, and I'll get these things spray painted blank, uh, black. Actually, I'm going to spray paint them with brushed metallic because it's important that your hooks look good so anyway i got this uh we got these loaded on and uh welded on and we'll get it hooked back up to the tractor all right got a little paint on it and got it all gussied up and now i've got two hooks on my now i got two hooks on my bucket i'll put the bucket back on there and uh, get it done and we'll be good to go Got the bucket put back on the tractor. Hooks turned out great. Got them painted up so they won't rust. Not a halfway looking, not a, not a bad beat on that. You know, I mean, I ain't a professional welder and Mike's not a professional welder, but 
I think we did all right. They come in real handy. Those hooks on there like that. And I left again. I left the I left the holes in here so that we could possibly put something else in there. But it's gonna it's gonna t get a lot of use in it. I think it's gonna turn out just great. Getting the hook to put on the bucket was a big deal. So I appreciate you watching. There's uh, a lot of things around the hobby farm where you just have to make do with, with what you got, you know. So sometimes you can't get a professional to come out here and do stuff. And we got it done the best we could. And it's going to hold up real nice, I think. Real quick, real quick, I want to talk about the, the three-point quick hitch that I had put on. I want to show you something. I was like, oh, man, this top hook ain't going to fit. This top hook ain't going to fit into my implement right here. I had the adapter, so you can watch that video uh, about the three-point quick hitch on it. But I put the adapter in. But what happened, all I had to do was just, I put a spacer, uh, I put a spacer in here that just widened it up. Man, this dog on phone. There you go. I put a spacer in there, and now the hook fits perfect. And so uh, the three-point quick hitch from Grizzly, doing what it's supposed to do and I think it's going to turn out nice hey thanks a lot for watching you know if you're going to have a hobby farm you're going to need to know how to weld if you don't know how to weld you got to have a friend that knows how to weld and if you don't have any friends well you probably shouldn't start a hobby farm <laughs> so uh hey uh thanks a lot for watching now would be a good time to click that subscribe button when you subscribe, you help our channel grow, and we have videos on, on hobby farming, we have videos on tractor work, and we have videos on how Gina's doing the inside of the barn. You know, show your wives some of the videos that we have on our channel about the interior of the barn. Uh, she does a fantastic job of getting this thing looking like, you know, that farmhouse decor and all that. If you like Chip and Joanna Gaines, you're going to love our place. So we got shiplap all in our house, and... Uh, so your wives would especially, if they like that kind of stuff, they'll love it. They can follow us on Instagram at Hamiltonville Farm and see what she's done there. And as far as the men go or the women that like the tractor work stuff goes, uh, you know, join me as I start this channel and we start to grow together and see some of the lessons I learned as I'm working on the farm. And uh, I've always been a, a country guy, but I've, uh, you know, this is the first time that I've really seriously got into to you know make maintaining my own homestead so to speak so anyway join us we'd appreciate it tag just tag along follow us subscribe comment below like us and share us with your friends that all helps us grow